I figured because I was uploading my Nyoko vs. Admiral video today, I could just quickly put up my uh, Nyoko power scaling ranking video. My reasoning for where each person will be on the list is it going to be short and sweet. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please like, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I think the weakest out of all the Nyoko is Blackbeard, Marshall D. Teach. My reasoning for thinking this is quite simple. I feel like he is still growing. He is collecting devil fruits. He is still growing stronger. I feel by the end of the series he will be the strongest Yonko. But as of chapter 796, I feel like he is the weakest Yonko. Because he is still growing in power and trying to become stronger. Because he has the same goal as Luffy, remember. To be the pirate king. For the second weakest Yonko. I'm going to have to go with Big Mom. Simply for the fact that I think out of all the Nyoko, she will be the first to fall. She will be the first to be defeated. Who, de who will defeat her? I'm putting my money on Luffy, but it could very well be somebody else. Another pirate. Very easily. I just feel overall it would just make sense Due to the fact that the Straw Hack were able to escape from Big Mom, you know, Sanji and company were able to escape from Big Mom, I just feel it makes sense that he was the second weakest Yonko. Really, Kaido is the second weakest Yonko, just in general. I don't really believe there's anything you can do to change it. I don't believe Kaido is the second weakest Yonko. Just, I had nothing to go off of. He can survive a 10,000 meter drop and all kinds of torture and pretty much, he can pretty much survive anything. But, we had never seen him do anything in the area of power. And we don't really know anything about him. Not, not, we don't really have, even have any, any problems between him and Luffy. Besides from the fact that he destroyed the Smiley Factory. You know, the time of the that the Straw Hat Pirate destroyed the Smiley Factory. However, at the moment, Kyro doesn't really seem to care. He seems to be more worried about dying. And probably... Killing Kid and the rest of the Kid Alliance. But that is besides the point. I believe Kaido is the second weakest Yoko... Really, just because there's no evidence to support his strength, besides his hype, and the things he can survive. Let's move on to who the strongest Yonko is. I believe Shanks is the strongest of the four Yonko because he was a cabin boy on Gold Roger's ship. And, like most of the fandom, I believe he is the strongest hockey user in the One Piece world. Due to the fact that he could damage physical objects such as the Moby Dick with Sheer King Taki and was able, able to casually knock out some of the Whitebeard Pirates while without trying while just releasing a little bit of his King Taki. I will go be going over the list quickly one last time. But, I will not be giving the reasons, I will just be going over and listening in the order to remind everybody of what the conclusion of the video came to. Blackbeard is the weakest of the four Yonko. Big Mom is the second weakest Yonko. Kaido is the second weakest of the four Yonko. Shanks is the strongest of all four Yonko. I hope you enjoyed my weakest to strongest Yonko video. If you enjoy, please subscribe for more videos and like and comment and give me your thoughts and opinions. Thank you very much for watching.